I'm not only a senator, I'm also a father. But do you know the connection between being a father and a senator? There is a big connection as far as I'm concerned. Because I believe by being a senator, I can do my share in working to make the country uh, a better place. So that my children, when they grow up, and you, our children, when you grow up, and you uh, become part of society, productive members of society, hopefully our work would have made the country better for you. And so my being a senator is, about, is also about being a good father. Because I, a good father should make sure that their children, when we leave this world, it's a better place for our children. So I'm doing this not only for the voters, not only for the citizens, I'm also doing this, my work, to try and improve our economy, to try and um, make better uh, the government in terms of providing uh, services to our people. We're also doing this because we love our children and they deserve the best. You, our children, deserve the best from our parents. Do you agree? Yes. yes. And someday, uh, when you're older, uh, hopefully we would have succeeded and that the country would be a better place for all of us. And a better place means, one, that there are jobs available so that people can work. Two, that the quality of education is good so that we can prepare you, our children, uh, and equip you to be capable. Three, that uh, that uh, the environment is protected and that we are able to address issues such as climate change. Four, uh, that there is a government that is really serving the people. Five, that we have uh, um, respect for our laws and there is less crime or, or minimal crime you know what crime is of course uh, and violence uh, and that there is peace uh, in our land uh, and that the problems of uh, social unrest like bombings or uh, the war in Mindanao are finally resolved who here have been out of the country. Okay, Singapore, no. No. Hong Kong, yes. Um, where else? Malaysia. United States. Yes. What about Japan? Yes. China. So many of you have come, have gone to other countries, right? Yes. Did any of you wonder, for example, those who have been to the U.S. or Hong Kong, why is it? there that, you know, it seems like life is better, people are more, are wealthier, uh, more, the, the system seems to be working, and then when we come back to the Philippines, some of us say, well, how come in the Philippines it's not like that? Who have, who have thought of it that way? <coughs> How come in Hong Kong, you know, all the buildings, you know, so many tall, tall buildings, so much infrastructure, a lot of big bridges, a lot of uh, uh, a not nice transport system, trains, right? And then when we come home to the Philippines, we say, I, that happened to me. And I said, how come in the Philippines we're sort of behind? Did you ever think of that? Yes. And you know, I have an answer. The reason why they are advanced and we are behind, part of the reason is because their leaders have led, okay? Their leaders have served the people properly. And part of that is they're not corrupt. Or if there, are, there is corruption, it is minimal. The reason being that when they see problems in their country, their leaders do everything they can to solve it. In our country, while we do have leaders who are like that, 
uh, I think we need more leaders to become like that. There are still more leaders who, instead of thinking of the country, think of their own what? Their own benefits. So in the countries such as Hong Kong or Singapore or or the U.S., there are more public leaders and and uh, private leaders who think of the community rather than their own benefit, who think of the benefits to the people rather than the benefits to themselves. So the challenge really, and that's why you have to know about government, is how can we make government more responsive? How do we make our leaders, help our leaders who are sincere and who are honest to succeed? What can we do as uh, young young students, as young uh, citizens of this country, we can do a lot. I am a senator because I, li- I would like to help provide meaningful laws for the country so that when we are, when you, our children, grow up, we will have a better country, we will have uh, a vibrant economy, we will have uh, lots of jobs, we will have peace, we will have uh, respect for our laws, and we would have addressed corruption and criminality. So we are here because we want a better nation, and we are being and we're doing what we can on a daily basis to do that, because we are doing it for you, our children. In turn, and this is my parting shot before we open the floor for your questions, as young citizens, you also have to do your share by learning from this experience, by coming here, by being aware, and also doing your share in helping move our country towards a new direction. Gandhi said, do you know who Gandhi is? We ought to be the change that we seek. In other words, uh, well, that's a paraphrase of the line. We should be the change we seek. uh, uh, In other words, the change begins with, with us.